Hey y'all, welcome back. It's me, we, she, her, your girl, Brit Reacts. And today we are reacting to George Carlin talks about stuff. Let's see what he's talking about. But they gave me uh, the wrong dressing room and I couldn't find any place to put my stuff. And I don't know how you are, but I need a place to put my stuff. So that's what I've been doing back there, just trying to find place for my stuff you know how important that is that's the whole that's the whole meaning of life isn't it trying to find a place for your stuff that's all your house is your house is just a place for your stuff if you didn't have so much stuff you wouldn't need a house you could just walk around all the time that's all your house is it's a pile of stuff with a cover on it you see that when you take off on an airplane and you look down and you see everybody's got a little pile of stuff everybody's got their own pile of stuff and when you leave your stuff you gotta lock it up wouldn't want somebody to come by and take some of your stuff. They always take the good stuff. They don't uh, I love his delivery. It is so, like, I feel like he grew up in the hood or something. Like, his delivery is very, like, homey. Like, I love it. And also, what he's saying is very true because the amount of stuff I got, come, just, just come get it. Why do I have so much stuff? Don't bother with that crap you're saving. <laughs> Ain't nobody interested in your fourth grade arithmetic papers. <laughs> They're looking for the ah! stuff. That's all your house is. It's a place to keep your stuff while you go out and get more stuff. Period. Period, Pooh. Sometimes, sometimes <clears throat> you've got to move. you got to get a bigger house. Why? Oh, Too goodness. much stuff. You've got to move all your stuff. And maybe put some of your stuff in storage. <laughs> Imagine that. There's a whole industry based on keeping an eye. Y'all, we just went to the storage earlier today. Why is he so right? I'm like re-evaluating my whole life while listening to this man because he is so right. Why do we have so much stuff? And then we go get more stuff. And then we got to put stuff in storage because we have too much stuff. Why am I holding on? Why do I have a whole bin of my childhood memories and now I'm creating one for my daughter that she's probably like never going to look at? Like, why are we like this? Oh my God, this is so good. I on your stuff. <laughs> Enough about your stuff. Let's talk about other people's stuff. Did you ever notice when you go to somebody else's house, you never quite feel 100% at home? You know why? No room for your stuff. Somebody else's stuff is all over the place. And what awful stuff it is. Where did they get this stuff? And if you have to stay overnight at someone's house, you know, unexpectedly, and they give you a little room to sleep in that they don't use that often, Someone died in it 11 years ago. <laughs> and they haven't moved any of his stuff. <laughs> or wherever they give you to sleep, usually right near the bed, there's a dresser and there's never any room on the dresser for your stuff. Period. Someone else's <laughs> is on the dresser. <laughs> Have you noticed that their stuff is <laughs> and your <laughs> stuff? I love this man. George Carlin, where have you been my whole life? Oh no, he's hilarious. His delivery is so freaking effortless. It is so effortless and funny. And we're talking about stuff, y'all. Like he's just talking about stuff, but it's accurate. It's so spot on. <coughs> now, sometimes you go on vacation, you gotta bring some of your stuff with you. You can't bring all your stuff. Just the stuff you really like. The stuff that fits you well that month. That month. Let's say you're going to go to Honolulu. You're going to go all the way to Honolulu. You've got to take two big bags of stuff. Plus your carry-on stuff. Plus the stuff in your pockets. And you get all the way to Honolulu and you get in your hotel room and you start to put away your stuff. That's the first thing you do in a hotel room is put away your stuff. Yep. I'll put some stuff in here. Put some stuff down there. Here's another place for stuff here. I'll put some stuff over there. You put your stuff over there. I'll put my stuff over here. Here's another place for stuff. Hey, we got more places than we've got stuff. <laughs> We're going to have to buy more stuff. stuff. <laughs> I also love that they have like a ton of boxes behind him, which is just, it, this is such good comedy. Like, this is such good comedy. And you put all your stuff away and you know that you're thousands of miles from home and you don't quite feel at ease, but you know that you must be okay because you do have some of your stuff with you. 
and you relax in her. I love this. Like he's like, bah, da, 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 bah, bah, bah. like he's. It's like the timing is in his body. It's so comedy is an art, and it, I feel like people don't even recognize how hard it is to be a freaking comedian. And this man does it in his sleep he does it in his sleep i guarantee you he's funny in his sleep he farts and he's funny in his sleep i don't know why i just said he farts but we all fart but anyway okay off topic bye honolulu on that basis that's when your friend from maui calls and says hey why don't you come over to maui for the weekend spend a couple of nights over here oh. now what stuff do you bring right you've got to bring an even smaller version of your stuff just enough stuff for a weekend on Maui. And you get over, and you're really spread out now. You've got shit all over the world. <laughs> You've got stuff at home, stuff in storage, stuff in Honolulu, stuff in Maui, stuff in your pockets. Supply lines are getting longer and harder to maintain. But you get over to your friend's house in Maui, and they give you a little place to sleep, and there's a little window ledge with some kind of a small shelf, and there's not much room on it, but it's okay, because you don't have much stuff now. <laughs> And you put what stuff you do have up there. You put your imported French toenail clippers. Ew. Your readers with the 45 day French? guarantee. Your cinnamon flavored dental floss. And your Afrin 12 hour decongestant nasal spray. And you know you're a long way from home. You know that you must be okay because you do have your Afrin 12 hour decongestant nasal spray. And you relax in mouth. Nah, this man is like from Newark. Like he just said, and you do have your 12 hour congestion spray. Like what? Who? Where? I, he's from, he's from the hood. He is around the way. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. He knows what's up, he knows what's up, he knows what's up. On that basis. That's when your friend says, hey, I think tonight we'll go over the other side of the island and stay at my friend's house. Oh so my I'm, God. No. <laughs> just bring the things you know you're gonna need money keys comb wallet lighter hanky pen cigarettes contraceptives vaseline whips chains whistles dildos in a book dildos in a book i love george carlin that was good old just good feeling good timey very accurate real life comedy superb superb i'm like i can't stop smiling it was so good all right y'all go have the day you deserve